Wakanda forever. Hey guys, today we are going to unbox a Black Panther statue. I'm actually quite happy that this guy shaped the same time as the Thor. Both of them came from a very good studio and I think the two of them are my most highly anticipated statues. Anyway, this statue came with an art box, the same with Thor. We have the one of its portraits and poses here because this does have a torso switch out. Again, uh, it's Chadwick Boseman's photo here, tribute to him, the original Black Panther and another one one on the side and on top all we have is Wakanda forever so let's start unboxing okay so we are greeted with the usual velcro straps and black foam okay so first layer do we have what we need I don't think that we do let's look for the base first well, probably here Yep, yeah, I did opt for a two base. I was a bit confused why that's two base. Anyway, let's get this one out. Oh, it's not that heavy. It was just a little bit tight to get out of the box. By the way, the edition size is 60 for this. And I got number 21. So this is base number one. This is supposed to be the uh, Wakandan base. As you can see, it's like in the forest next is we have the torso stand goes right here i think it's a mix of both but it's more wakanda looking and finally is we have the what do you call this it's the vibranium base yeah i actually opted for this because i do plan to display him next to my other avengers it's not really the same it's not ultron but the color is a bit similar anyway next is we have a part of the base looks like a baby dog we have a black panther i'm not sure yet where he goes okay let's remove this first <laughs> I was a bit confused how to display The front left paw of the panther does have a peg which will go here to the base, the front. I think you need to be careful, it gets a bit thin and it might break. Good to go. Not gonna use this for now, it's occupying a lot of space. Moving on to the second layer. Let's check out the portraits first. Not sure what this is, but it kind of looks like an MCU portrait. An MCU mask portrait, that is. This for sure is a comic version, since it's not yet Chadwick Boseman. Oh, this is more like a MCU looking. I guess this is a comics version. And we have the Chadwick Boseman portrait. And I gotta say, it does look like the actor a lot. Very well done by the factory. And we have another comics version. This time, it's a screaming portrait. We have the right hand here. You gotta be careful with the uh, nails. They are pointy and might break easily. Okay, that was the right hand. We have the left hand now. Now we have the tail for the panther. Let's do that real quick. The seam is very visible, but it's at the back anyway. Now we have the shield switch out. The hand inside is loose. I'm wondering why they didn't just glue that one. Next is we have the legs for Panther. It's actually fairly light. Very nice paint job, gotta say. It does have a key and peg, which will go right here. We have the Wakanda Forever Pose Torso. We do have a second torso. Wow, that was a bit strong. Okay, no breaks. We have another left arm switch out. I think that will go with the shield. We have a closed fist switch out. Left hand, left, yeah. We also have a closed fist right hand this time. It does come with a lot of hand switch out and portraits. We have another right. Oh, this one has a hole so you could actually put the spear the weapon and we have another right hand so what's the difference with this so you get two right hands but the pegs are different so probably goes with different torsos okay 
we have the second torso here I think it would be smarter to, to remove this first and just put it here because it doesn't take that much space anyway and let's use oh, okay uh, the magnet broke actually the magnet for my Thor also broke from the I think the left shoulder the left arm so it broke here as well. I, I wouldn't say broke. It's just that the, they didn't super glue it. So I think the magnet is quite strong and it actually popped off. So it should be here. We are going to super glue that later. But for now, let's put it aside. Moving on. Hopefully this one doesn't uh, get pulled out. I think the remaining pieces should be just parts of the weapon. Okay, I got the tip of the spear the arrowhead and finally we have the the shaft for the spear okay so let's see so to assemble this we need the closed fist one which has the hole okay the spear is fairly light really light I mean so nothing to worry about and for sure we need the shield since we opted for the spear there you go a uh, magnet is strong enough so nothing to worry unless the magnet pops out maybe let's use the this portrait here and before we proceed let's try and assemble this first without the magnet I think it should hold I mean we're not gonna move it around so these hands I would believe is for the Wakanda forever kind of pose and let's use the Chadwick Boseman for that and there we go we have completely assembled the custom Black Panther To do some quick measurements black panther stands at 29.5 inches tall can be higher or lower depends on how you position the spear right here and speaking of spear if you don't want to use the spear he will only be a little shy of 28 inches tall but if you use the vibranium base right here it will increase the height by around half an inch uh, the width is 10 inches wide and the depth is a little shy of 10.5 inches deep by the way if you use this shield it'll add another two inches to its width moving forward let's talk about the concept there's actually two concepts for the statue one is a wakanda type of base you will definitely see some Aztec vibes on the base with the Chalas Panther right beside him and the other is a vibranium base this is the base I actually wanted because I feel like I can display him uh, next to my other Avengers collection with the similar color for the base Black Panther came with a lot of switch outs so there are five portraits two are mass and three are unmasked so for the unmasked portraits two of them are comic based while the one which is this one is from the MCU there are two set of hands which outs per torso so first is we have the spear and the shield switch out for this torso and the alternate well there's just no spear and shield next is the open hand switch out for the wakanda forever pose the alternate switch outs are the closed fist hands i prefer to use this one as i like seeing the claws lastly is there are two torsos obviously and a torso stand for the extra torso i actually ordered an additional leg when i pre-ordered the statue but the factory did not ship mine so i'm still currently waiting for those to arrive so let's talk more about the sculpt gotta say this statue has excellent sculpt from base to black panther himself with the wakanda base you see a lot of details and textures uh, from the base the moss you see aren't actually sculpted but are added in they are like sugar sized thing that are glued there to look like moss looks great to be uh, completely honest adds depth to the statue even the roots and tree have textures there's actually an easter egg at the back which is killmonger mask from the mcu movie the panther also has some textures could have been better like the one from my red 13 but it's not noticeable anyway due to its color being black and it's not the main character here the vibranium base also has a lot of textures and highlighted by the paint pretty good there's actually this chunk of vibranium inside this transparent canisters the metal case at the 
laptop has a lot of textures which is nice kind of wish that you can take the top off and store head switch outs would have been really nice since i think you could fit two of them here or i think you could actually fit all three extra switch outs lastly is black panther himself he's packed with textures from top to bottom it's just not one texture there are probably about four types of texture patterns in his suit you'll love it when you see it in person anatomy seems perfect to me but i think the unmasked portraits are a bit smaller than they need to be i'm not really sure because the mask portrait seems okay this could be just a me problem but it does look smaller when i look at them with the unmasked portrait but the mask one seems okay anyway besides that no other problem with the scope all the unmasked portrait looks great this is also the best chadwick boseman portrait out there way better than sideshows look more than the late actor than what sideshow did finally let's talk about the paint on the wakanda base they added some wet translucent resin to the base to mimic water which looks really nice in my opinion like i mentioned earlier the moss aren't sculpted but are actually dust added to the statue lots of shading and oil wash on the base making it look really really nice never expected the wakanda base to look this good it's not even the reason why i pre-ordered this statue but now i like it more than the vibranium base too bad they missed to add the wet effect for the saliva on the panther would have been nice to have since it kind of looks dry right now the vibranium base is very similar to sideshow's avengers with the ultram base the colors are the same just different concept like i said it's not my favorite base but it'll blend really good uh, with that line which is i'm collecting as for black panther he is just painted with black and some silver highlights very minimal the animals portraits all look pretty good perfect skin tone i'd say the eyes are decals by the way on the unmasked portraits while the mask portraits are painted with this metallic green and the panther on the base is like a neon green my one comment for this statue is i kind of wish that the shield he is holding is glued to his arm i don't like that it moves a lot as you can see but that's just me but i believe if it was glued together it would have been much sturdy with all that said this is my favorite black panther statue this is the best black panther statue out there easily a 10 out of 10 for me me congrats to everybody who were involved to the production of this statue and actually for the people who were able to pre-order it you got a grill black panther right here that's it for this video thanks for watching till the end this is carl and see you in the next one